what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. So this is a collective haul. I went once in Missouri when I was on a trip with Chris and then I did a shop with me which went up before this one which if you haven't seen it yet check the link in my description and go watch that one. Um, but this is just a haul from things that I bought on TJ Maxx and Marshall's trips. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's just go ahead and get on into this. The first thing that I picked up was this and this is a super cute little makeup bag and this is by Danielle. Um, I don't really know who that is but that was what the brand name was. I threw away the tag so I can't show it to you guys. Um, but this was $4.99. I just needed a new um, little makeup bag for skincare. I realized when I was trying to travel the other day that I didn't have another makeup bag to use for all my skincare stuff. As you can see here, it's got little lemons all over it with um, green stems and it's just super cute and it's little like leather feeling material has a nice zipper so I just I really like this one I thought it was super cute and I do have a bunch of stuff in it if you hear like stuff moving around I went a little bit nail polish crazy yes and you may be asking me Maddie aren't you in nursing school you're not allowed to wear nail polish during nursing school and you're right I'm not but a bottom anyway. I do also paint my toenails throughout the week. I love painting my nails too, but I can't do that. So I just switch out the polish on my toenails to make up for it while I'm in school. Um, but I went crazy and I decided to purchase six different nail polishes. The reason I purchased these is because I really love this formula and these are pretty expensive um, other places. So like this one, I purchased the... Um, Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in the shade Blushing Bride for $2.99. These things are pretty expensive at like Target. They're like nine bucks or something. Um, the gel polish ones are even worse, but this is just a really pretty like nudish pink color. So I got that one. I got this one in the same like um, formula and this one is in the shade All Fired Up, also $2.99. It's just a super hot, fiery red color, which I love, so I had to pick up that one. Then I got this one in the same formula as well, in the shade A Whole New Pearled, which is such a cute little play on wor words, um, and this one was also $2.99. This just has a beautiful pearly finish, and it's like a really pretty light pink with that pearlescent finish, which I love. And then I picked up this one, which is one of the gel polishes from Sally Hansen. And this was also $2.99, which I was all for. And this is in the shade Nudely Weds, which is also just a really pretty, more beigey brownish color rather than pinky. Then I got two more nail polishes. These were from Essie. This one I picked up because it was a color I have never seen before. It was really pretty. It's like this pink, but like also orange, and it has these like shimmers in it that depend on whatever way you look at it, it can be a different color. Um, this is just their regular nail lacquer, and um, this shade is so cute, Fondant of You, which is super cute. Uh, and this one was $3.99. And if you can see there, it's like pink but it's also like a fiery orange and then the last one I got was this which I was so excited to see um, this is the Essie gel nail polish in the shade Sumi and this one was $3.99 as well um, this one's kind of like weird there's a bunch of little stickers all over it but I figured I could just like clean it up and it doesn't bother me but this is just a really pretty like mauvey pinky nail polish color and if you can't tell I have a certain color that I really like and that just happens to be this pinky nude color so I had to purchase all those. So I did purchase a lot of brushes from Marshalls because they had really good deals and they had um, Japanese brushes so I purchased these two which was a set um, this is what these little two look like and this is the must-have complexion duo and this was going for $5.99 which is insane. I love Japanese brushes. I've been super into them recently and so anytime I see them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls I, I just have to buy them. Then I did purchase two more um, brushes. So I got this one right here which is interesting to me. It will look it looks like a cream brush. Um, which is actually called the Curved Contour Brush. It says it helps you buff in cream, powder, or liquid. So it does say either or. Um, and then this was $3.99, so that's awesome. And it has this interesting shape to it that just fits, like, perfectly right there in the contours of my face. And, like, I don't know. It looked really good, and 
like I said, I like all their brushes so far, so I just had to purchase that one too. And then lastly, I did get this one, which is so super stinking soft, and I love it already. This is the Fluff Powder Brush, and as you can see here, it's just super fluffy, and it's super soft and perfect, and I can't wait to use this on my face, just like powdering everything. Oh, it's going to be so amazing. And this one was... $4.99 at Marshalls. So really good prices on all these brushes because I know that they are like $16 at the drugstore probably. I did get one thing uh, skincare wise and this is the Coop and Daisy C Plus Day Serum. Um, so I've been hearing a lot about these um, little things at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They have like these fiery lid colors and everyone's saying they're dupes for the Drunk Elephant um, Night Serum and Day Serum which are like $90 a piece. This one was only $6.99 so I did decide to buy the Day Serum because I have the Night Serum of the Drunk Elephant so I didn't want to buy another Night Serum. So instead I just bought the C vitamin C serum for the daytime and I've used it once so far and I, I, I can't tell you how I feel about it but I will let you guys know at a later point in time. Moving on to the makeup, I did get this. Literally anytime I see any of these at Marshalls or TJ Maxx I have to purchase them unless I already have a shade. So this is the Buxom Full On Lip Cream. I love these things. These are some of my favorite high-end glosses ever. I did get this one in the shade Mai Tai. This was $5.99 and this is just a really like bright like fiery orange pinky color. It's just very pretty and I've put it on my hand because I was afraid that it would be too much for me but honestly like they sheer out pretty well and it's not too overpowering because this is like not a color I would wear every day but I really love it and it's really pretty and like I've said I have to purchase these every single time I see them because they're like amazing and I would rather pay $5.99 than $22 so I did pick up two blushes while I was there. This one made me really happy because I've seen other people find these at TJ Maxx. This is the Lorac Color Source Buildable Blush, and it's such a really pretty color. Um, this wouldn't necessarily be the color I would go for, um, but I thought it was really pretty. This is in the color Source Blush, and it's a matte color. Uh, this was $3.99, which is what floored me. I thought it was going to be like 8 bucks or something, maybe $10, but it was only $3.99. I'm sorry, I said the color of the blush wrong. Um, it's their Source Blush Matte, that's what they're called, but this one is in the shade Spectra, which is just a really pretty like pinky color, and it looks like this right here. I have been obsessed with blushes lately, if you didn't know already, and so this one just like made my day. Um, it's not really necessarily my color blush, but like I like I said, I've been so obsessed with blushes that I just I had to take that one. And then I did purchase this one because I have been looking for these everywhere, and I found so many of them, but all of them have been touched, so I was very upset about that. But I did get, I ended up finding one that wasn't touched, and this is the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks Melting Powder Blush in the shade Ginger Peach. Um, I think this was the one that I wanted the most, and I did end up finding it untouched. I did find this at TJ Maxx, and it was $10.99. This is what the blush looks like right here. It's very out of my comfort zone. It's very bright, and they smell incredible. It is a cream to powder kind of situation, so I don't work with many creams, but I'm trying to like broaden my horizons, so... I did purchase this one and I'm really excited to use it. I haven't used it yet and I don't know, it looks really nice. And then this just floored me. This was amazing for me to find um, at TJ Maxx. I couldn't believe I found it and there were actually um, two different ones. So my, I bought my sister one and then I bought me one. Um, so this is the Stila Aura a light glitter and glow highlighter and liquid eyeshadow set. These are like the minis that they sell at holiday time and I just thought this was amazing to find it there. This ended up being $12.99 at TJ Maxx. Um, I did buy my sister the other one. It came with Kitten Karma, Diamond Dust, and then Gold Goddess. And then this one it comes with four of the glitter and glows in Diamond Dust, Kitten Karma, Smoky Storm, and Plum On, and then two glitter and glow highlighters in the shade Monarch and Painted Lady. To be honest, I only bought it for the glitter and glow shadows. Um, I don't really like these two colors of the highlighters just because they don't look like highlighters to me. I mean, I'm, I'll probably try them out, but they're just like not what I would gravitate towards. Uh, but anyway, I bought these because I have gone through my other little ones that I bought um, last holiday season. I just, I wanted some more, so what better way to get some more 
than pay $12 for four little ones. So I just thought this was really awesome to find there. I hadn't ever seen um, so many Stila products actually at that TJ Maxx. They had so much Stila that it was actually kind of crazy. But that is all the makeup and stuff that I did purchase from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Uh, but I did purchase two clothing items, which is kind of random. Like I don't usually show clothing items from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Uh, but I did get this really, really pretty dress that I am in love with. Um, this is what it looks like. It is very springy. It's a v-neck. It has the most beautiful sleeves. It is just flowers galore and it actually um, it ties in the waist with a little cincher there and it goes to like mid calf which is something that I'm not really a fan of and that I've never liked on me but I really really love this one. So I decided to pick it up and I'm completely in love with it and it was $19.99 at Marshalls, not a bad price and it is super, super adorable. Um, so I had to purchase that and then this one is something that I've been looking for for a while. I just never found the right one for me or like the right price for me, I guess. Um, but I did find this and this is from the brand Thread and Supply, which they actually sell at Nordstrom's, I'm pretty sure. This is a um, Sherpa vest. It is so soft, like it is the softest thing I've ever felt. And it just looked so cute on and it's so warm and cozy and I was super excited because I know that this brand is pretty expensive. Um, it didn't have the original tag on it anymore um, but at Marshalls they were selling it for $19.99 which I thought wasn't a bad price so I did end up buying both of those and I was super happy with my clothing purchases. Alright guys, so that is everything I did purchase at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please let me know down below if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos and if you'd rather me separate out shop with me's and then the hauls or if you like to see them kind of in one video. Please let me know any great finds that you have found recently at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I always love to hear what you guys are finding and see what you are finding. Um, let me know any video ideas you'd like to see from me down below and thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you guys are having a blessed day or night wherever you are, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye! That was really high. <laughs> this is in a size medium, and this is one of those, like, um, Sherpa, like, what do you call these? Like, half-zip jacket sort of situation? Vest. That's the thing I'm looking for.